Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Vitamin D Introduction Vitamin D is a vitamin that the body needs to function, stay healthy, and maintain strong bones. Not having enough vitamin D can cause many health problems, such as rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. This is because vitamin D is needed by many different parts of the body. This program will help you better understand the importance of vitamin D in the body and how you can make sure you are getting the right amount. Vitamin D Vitamin D is a nutrient found in some food. Vitamin D is found in cells throughout the body. The body gets vitamin D through exposure to sunlight and from the food we eat. Vitamin D helps the body use calcium and phosphorus. Calcium is essential to strong bones. Phosphorus is essential for the growth, maintenance, and repair of tissues and cells. Children who don't get enough vitamin D may develop soft, thin, brittle bones. This condition is known as rickets. Adults who don't get enough vitamin D develop weak bones. Osteomalacia and osteoporosis are two bone diseases caused by lack of vitamin D. Vitamin D is important to muscles and nerves. Muscles help the body move. Nerves are needed to carry sensations and movement orders between the brain and every body part. Without enough vitamin D, muscles become weak. Vitamin D is also important for a strong immune system. The immune system fights off invading germs such as bacteria and viruses. Vitamin D Deficiency Not getting enough vitamin D is called vitamin D deficiency. Without enough vitamin D, bones and muscles will become weak and painful. Vitamin D deficiency in adults can cause osteoporosis or osteomalacia. Osteoporosis is a condition in which bone density decreases, causing bones to become fragile. Osteomalacia is a condition in which bones become soft and deformed. In children, this is called rickets and is also caused by vitamin D deficiency. People at risk for vitamin D deficiency include adults older than 70 years old, older adults who have broken a bone, women who are pregnant and breastfeeding, other people at risk for vitamin D deficiency include people with dark skin, people who are obese, people with limited exposure to sunlight. Patients who are at risk for vitamin D deficiency include patients with chronic kidney or liver disease, patients with cystic fibrosis and inflammatory bowel disease. These diseases cause an inability to absorb nutrients. Other patients at risk for vitamin D deficiency include patients using certain medications like cholesterol drugs or AIDS medications, patients who have had gastric bypass surgery. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute, www.patient-education.com. Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Sources of Vitamin D you can get vitamin D in three ways, through your skin, from your diet, and from supplements. The skin makes vitamin D when exposed to ultraviolet B or UVB rays from the sun, but being in the shade, applying sunscreen, and having dark colored skin limit the amount of vitamin D the skin makes. Also, because of the risk of skin cancer, you should limit your sun exposure. You can get vitamin D from the food you eat. Foods rich in vitamin D include egg yolks, liver, and saltwater fish such as salmon and tuna. Mushrooms provide a small amount of vitamin D. There are also foods that have vitamin D added to them. These are known as foods that are fortified with vitamin D. Fortified foods include milk, cereal, orange juice, and yogurt. Check the label to make sure the products you buy are fortified with vitamin D. 
Vitamin D is available in the form of a supplement if you can't get enough of it from your diet or sunlight. Supplements are most often pills and can be found at drug stores, grocery stores, and health food stores. Vitamin D is included in most multivitamins. Check with a health care provider to see whether you need vitamin D supplements and how much you should take. Vitamin D may affect or be affected by other medications that you are taking. Recommended amounts. The amount of vitamin D a person should take each day is described in international units, or IU. The recommended amount depends on the age and health of the person. From birth to 12 months, the recommended amount is 400 IU. For people aged 1 to 70 years old, the recommended amount is 600 IU. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should take in 600 IU daily. For people older than 70, the recommended amount is 800 IU each day. Talk to your health care provider about recommended dosing if you are at an increased risk of vitamin D deficiency. In addition to the daily recommendations, your health care provider will also recommend an upper limit. Infants should not consume more than 1,500 IU of vitamin D per day. Children ages 1 to 8 should not consume more than 3,000 IU per day. Adults should not consume more than 4,000 IU per day. Vitamin D Toxicity While it is uncommon to take in too much vitamin D, it is still possible. Vitamin D toxicity is usually caused by taking too many supplements. Vitamin D toxicity is not usually caused by getting too much vitamin D from food or sun exposure. Vitamin D toxicity can lead to too much calcium in the blood. Symptoms of this include weakness, nausea and vomiting, increased urination, constipation, weight loss, not feeling hungry, confusion, irregular heartbeat, kidney stones. Vitamin D toxicity can be treated by stopping any supplements of vitamin D and taking in less calcium. Medication and hospitalization may also be needed. It is important to stay within the recommended dosage range and talk to a healthcare provider before starting vitamin supplements. Doing so can help prevent vitamin D toxicity. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Vitamin D is a vitamin that the body needs to function and stay healthy. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium, which your bones need, not only to grow, but to remain strong throughout your life. A lack of vitamin D can lead to bone diseases, such as osteoporosis or rickets. Vitamin D also has a role in your nervous, muscular, and immune systems. You can get vitamin D in three ways, through your skin, from your diet, and from supplements. Your body forms vitamin D naturally after exposure to sunlight, but too much sun exposure can lead to skin aging and skin cancer, so many people try to get their vitamin D from other sources. Vitamin D-rich foods include egg yolks, saltwater fish, and liver. Some other foods, like milk and cereal, often have added vitamin D. You can also take vitamin D supplements. Check with your health care provider to see how much you should take. People who might need extra vitamin D include seniors, breastfed infants, people with dark skin, people with certain conditions such as liver diseases, cystic fibrosis, and Crohn's disease, people who are obese or have had gastric bypass surgery. Thank you for using Explain.